taking another look at the Pro V1 now on JP Golf. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, you saw yesterday's video, uh, took a look at the Pro V1 um, and I was actually a little bit shocked by the results and here's why. So uh, probably a year ago, um, I put the Pro V1 up against a different golf ball I was playing at the time, off the tee. And the other golf ball was consistently going five, 10 yards further than that was. So then about six months ago, um, I saw a YouTube video by this top flight golf ball. So I uh, saw that on uh, James Robinson and Chris Dennis' uh, channels um, and put that up against the ball I was playing and it ended up going further. So naturally I did this video. So let me do one on the, on the Pro V1 against this top flight. And was kind of shocked that the Pro V1 did as well as it, as it did. So I think part of that is I've worked on my swing. I used to come really over the top, really slice across it. Uh, now I'm still coming across the top, but making better contact. So I think that's part of the reason um, that that happened. But, um, but let's take a look at it all around the green. So again, I was kind of shocked on how it performed off the tee. Again, it's a $4 ball. So whether I played or not is um, on this course, I probably could here at Sherman Hills. Of course, has a lot of water. Lose balls, probably not. But um, but let's take a look at it around the green, see how it performs putting-wise, uh, feel, and then uh, just around the green with some chipping and some pitching, all right? All right, so first let's do some putting, uh, just get some feel, and I'll let you know how it feels off the club compared to the top flight bomb on plane. All right, so first impression of the putter, I'll be honest, can't really tell a difference. Um, the top flight may roll a little bit further out than the, but it's not significant. So all the putter face, they both feel about the same to me. Let's uh, hit some wedges and see what happens there. All right, let's do some uh, work with the chipper. So see how that uh, rolls out with that. All right, with a chipper, honestly, once again, I can't feel much of a difference. Um, it doesn't feel the Pro V1 not all that softer, to be honest with you. So um, again, maybe a little bit more rollout, um, maybe it, but let's hit a couple uh pitch shots, see if we can tell any difference on that. Uh, but right now, again, not really telling much of a difference. All right, so pitching is the area. You start to see a little bit difference. Uh, felt like a little bit more check um, with the Pro V compared to that uh, top light. All 
All right, so yeah, so I think um, kind of your irons, your wedges, uh, where you're probably gonna notice most differences in the check. Uh, probably spin a little bit more. So, you know, again, it all comes down to, number one, money, four bucks a ball for the Pro V ones. And then number two, what kind of player are you? So are you someone who likes to go at the flag and have it stop? Or are you someone who likes to hit it short and try to run it up? And, and what kind of golf are you playing? Are you playing a link style course where you do want it to run or a uh, more Americanized course where you're trying to hit over things and have it stop? So uh, those are things that, you know, I'm just one person. I don't think uh, we all have different swings. So maybe some testing you guys can do. Um, go out and, and tell me how it performs for you. Uh, I know another uh, subscriber, mentioned doing a series on, on golf balls, so I'd be glad to do that. Uh, get down in the comments below, let me know what kind of ball you guys are currently playing, uh, kind of what you'd like to see it tested up against, and I can kind of do a series off the off the tee, uh, off the green, and maybe even some iron shots. So, um, as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Get down in the comments below, tell me what ball you're playing, what ball you'd like to see um, reviewed, and I can maybe do a series again off the tee and around the greens and with irons, see what happens. So, uh, until next time, keep it locked here on JP Golf. Mm -hmm.